Hi guys, welcome back to you, me and the family or if you are new here, welcome Hi, I'm Hannah, a mum of four ranging from 15 years down to a two year old and we live as a family of six in the southeast of England um, Today, I managed to reserve and then I've just picked up three of the magic bags from Aldi now these are really hard to come by at the moment and um, the, my local Aldis have only just started participating in this too good to go food waste scheme and yes I have bought three but this is for my family of six and I've started trying to help my mum and dad a little bit as well with food and producing giving some stuff to them as well so that is why I bought three and I had to make it worth my while going over there because um, it was in Canterbury. So we did go out of my way to get these boxes or bags. So I had to make it worth my while, like I said. Um, these bags cost me £3.30 each. So all in all, everything that I will be showing you come to £9.90. Um, I'll go through box by box and then I'll lay it all out on the table so you can see what exactly I got for my money. Um, we'll start with the top box and then underneath is another box and then there is another box over there. For anyone that doesn't know what a too good to go magic bag is, I will explain at the end. But there is a lot of um, these videos from me now. I will... Um, link the playlist at the end of the video and um yeah i'll get on and show you what i get what i got shall i as you can see i've got it all here um they've all been reduced down to 30 percent today um and i'm guessing these items haven't been sold so they've been put in this too good to go box this box is the first one i got and we will start here these will be going straight to my mum and dad because they do love an egg custard tart. Obviously, this is the date, the best before date. But if they kept in the fridge and kept cold, they'll be good for another day, maybe another day or half. So they'll be gone anyway. Hot cross buns. They will be either going to mum and dad or us. I will divide them out because there is quite a few between us. Hot cross buns can be frozen and just because it's got the best before date there, hot cross buns like bread products do last past their best before date. It's literally down to your judgment. If it looks alright, tastes alright and smells alright, then chances are it is okay. But um, if you are overrun with hot cross buns, you can always bake with them and make them into lovely puddings as well. But... Um, I will see how many hot cross buns mum and dad want, but that's one packet. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Then we have some sandwich meat. We got some West Country butter roast chicken. And then we have some stuffed topped roast chicken, which is absolutely great because obviously I have teenagers and Steve take packed lunches to school and work every day. But um, obviously I've got my parents and then if I do get too much sandwich meat you can always freeze it and you can always make pre-made sandwiches and put them in the freezer and then just pull them out the day you want them. But um, I will see what meat mum and dad want. Then we have some Little Delight yogurts which will chance I'll stay here for my two little ones. These might end up in Haley's pack lunch tomorrow and Nathan's lunch at home. Then we have some sushi. I do apologise about the light. I'm in the dining room and the light is literally directly above me. So you are getting a bit of a glare, I'm afraid. I'm trying to avoid it. Um, salmon sushi selection. I'm afraid no one in my family really likes sushi. And it isn't something that you can really freeze. So, um, please don't judge me. Either the dog's going to be offered it, <laughs> or if she doesn't like it, the cats will. Or if um, we don't like it, or the cats or dogs, 
then um, I will be putting out for the foxes. I do get foxes in the fields opposite and I know they've got some fox cubs at the moment because I hear them barking. And um, I know it's not exactly the ideal food to be giving them, but it's better than going through people's rubbish and um, eating plastic and horrible stuff. So that will be going out for them. But chances are my dog will eat them, to be truthful, and it's salmon, so it's fine. Um, an avocado that is still rock hard and um again no one in my family eat avocado so i might put the shout out to my friend and see if she eats avocado if she does that will be dropped on her doorstep tomorrow morning and then we have some melon if you watch my um pat lunch videos you'll know that my whole family love melon and we do chop up melon quite frequently and they take it in their pat lunches but because that's all chopped up, I'll probably have this tonight. Because as of still now, I have not eaten dinner. I'm not really hungry. But um, I'll probably end up eating this later when I do get a little peckish. And then last but not least in this box, we got two packets of prawns. We have the basil pesto marinated king prawns. They are ready to eat. Or we've got the garlic, chilli and coriander marinated king prawns. Um, I've just asked mum if she would eat these and she said no. Just because she's a bit um, cautious when it comes to seafood. So these will go in my freezer and me and Steve will eat them when we're ready to. Because they do freeze perfectly fine. It just says freeze on the day of purchase and then defrost in the fridge for 24 hours and then consume and then never defrost uh, never freeze again so these will literally be bagged up with any of the other prawns enough to make a meal and um, me and Steve will end up eating them then so that is the first box and if you bear with me one sec I'll lift this one off and I'll show you the box underneath Okay, this is the box underneath, and obviously if you buy uh, multiple magic bags from the same place on the same day, chances are you are going to get similar, if not the same items, which in my case isn't a problem because I've got a large amount of people to feed, and a lot of the products can be frozen, so it doesn't bother me. Just thought I'd put that out there in case you're expecting to get loads of different products if you buy multiple bags uh, we got some Yorkshire puddings obviously there's four there but they are quite big ones Yorkshire puddings freeze perfectly fine I'll probably end up taking them in out of this, this packet and putting them in a sandwich bag and freezing because this will just take up space and I'll just pull them out when it comes to a Sunday dinner then we have some more sandwich meat we have some more of the um, West Country roast chicken. And then we've got another packet of that. So I'll send this to mum and dad and either they'll use it or they'll put it in the freezer. we got another packet of yogurts. Again, yogurts freeze perfectly fine. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You can make yogurts go like a day, day and a half. Well, a couple of days past their best before date. Or you can freeze them really well. You can make them into um, little lollies. So um, that's probably what I'll end up doing with them. Because obviously there's a lot of yogurts now. We have two jam and cream donuts. I think they've been dropped to be truthful. But that will be a nice little treat for me and Steve tonight. If mum and dad are getting the egg custard tarts. We got some more hot cross buns, but these are the everyday essentials. So that's two packets of hot cross buns we've got between us. Some more sushi, but this is the prawn kale rolls, uh, cali rolls, sorry. So um, these are a different variety, but again, it's sushi. So we will see if the animals will eat it. If not, the foxes will. We have another very hard avocado and then we have another two packets of the prawns the chili and garlic and coriander and then the basil pesto marinated prawns so 
I mean, considering this is um, £3.30 a box, the sushi alone was, would be £2.99 to buy. So I really do think they are worth the money. To be truthful, I was kind of hoping for maybe a bit of fruit and veg, but, you know, can't, can't um, fault it really. So I'm going to shove that one over there. And then we've got this one. Sorry, my finger keeps going over the lens. So this is the third and last box. Let's turn it around so we can see. And we'll start here. So we've got another packet of Yorkshire puddings, works, which works out absolutely great because there's six in my family. So that's one each and then an extra one for the adults. <laughs> another box of sushi and that is the salmon selection again. We have some more sandwich meat, but this time we have Wiltshire cured ham slices. And then we have more of the West Country butter roast chicken. So that's six packets of sandwich meat we've got, which is really good. And then we have got a loaf of Warburton's wholemeal, no added sugar bread. We've never tried that one. And you can, you can never go wrong with bread. Same as it all, you can freeze it. If you have too much bread, not enough room in your freezer, you can turn it into breadcrumbs croutons you can dry it out and um, store it in an airtight container and it will last for absolutely ages or you can make it into bread and is it bread pudding my mum does she's been making bread pudding with a lot of bread so that will come in handy probably for her we have another packet of the everyday essential hot cross buns then we have some Four salted caramel blondie hot cross buns. So um, we've got four packets of hot cross buns. So we will definitely get two packets each between mum and dad and us. We've got some more of the Little Delight yogurts. And then another two packets of the prawns. So again, a box that's well worth its money. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just pause the video... And then I'm going to lay all this food out on the table and you can see exactly what I got for my £9.90. Okay, I've laid it out on my table and look at all that food that if I didn't buy would, it en would have ended up at the tip. So let's take a closer look so you could just get one last look at everything that I got. At the back... We got four packets of hot cross buns. Then we got three packets of the garlic, chilli and coriander marinated king prawns. And three packets of the basil pesto marinated king prawns. What I'm going to do with them is I will put one packet or one and a half packets in a sandwich bag each. And then that will be enough for a meal for me and Steve. The kids won't eat them, but that means these will do us three meals, which will be absolutely great. And then we got six packets of sandwich meat, and this will be divided between my family and my mum and dad. And I will either use it in the sandwiches tomorrow, <coughs> excuse me, or I'll pop it in the freezer or make pre-made sandwiches whichever one I can be bothered to do, but this food will not go to waste. Then we have some cakes. Me and Steve are going to have the jam cream donuts in a minute. And then these egg custard tarts will be dropped on mum and dad's doorstep for tomorrow. I think mum and dad will get this wholemeal Warburton's loaf because I have got a freezer full of bread. We have... Eight Yorkshire puddings. They will stay with us because they will come in handy for a dinner. We have three packets of the Little Delight yogurts for my children. Obviously, they'll be no good to mum and dad. They don't have little ones. We have two unripe avocados. I will contact my friend and see if they're any good for her. If not, I will put them on the app called Ollie. And see if anyone local to me would like them. And then I'll just give them away. 
And then down here we have sushi, which sadly no one in my family eats. I mean, I might contact my friend and see if she's willing to have it tomorrow. If not, I will see if my pets would like it. Don't judge me, please. At least it isn't going in the bin. So it's not being wasted. And then a um, pack of melon that I will be eating with my cream cake. So that is everything that I got from my local Aldi for just £9.90. I really, really think it's worth the money. What do you guys think? Write in the comments if you think it is good or not. <coughs> um, ugh, sorry, cat hair. A quick disclaimer, if anyone doesn't know what a Too Good To Go magic bag is, I have got a playlist of all my other bags that I get. It is an app that you download and it's aimed at preventing food waste in your local area. A lot of um, shops, cafes, restaurants are participating in it now. They are trying to prevent food waste and obviously trying to claim some of the money that they've used to purchase this, item, this food. And obviously they don't want it going in the bin either. So what they do is, if you download the app, Type in your postcode and write in the app how far you are willing to travel to collect these bags. And then it will tell you what local shops, cafes, restaurants are participating in this scheme. And it will tell you on the day or the day before if there's any magic bags to be collected for you. If you decide you want to collect one <coughs> from a certain shop, you reserve it, you pay for it on the app then you're given a code you go to the shop at the time you're told to you show them the code and then they hand the bag straight over it is as simple as that and you get some good deals as you see here the only problem is you never know exactly what you're gonna get so it is a lucky dip some things are good like i got the sandwich meat other things not so good for you or your family like for me, the sushi. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a lucky dip. Like I said, you've got to take your chances. But you're doing your part to prevent food waste as well. So um, I really think everyone should do it. See what you can um, save in your local area. And see what goodies you can collect. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here and have liked this video... Go check out a few of my other videos and if you like what I do, please like, please subscribe and then don't forget to hit that notification button so that YouTube tells you every time I upload a new video so you don't miss out on anything. And then please share my video with your loved ones if you think they'd like it and see if you can help spread the word of Too Good To Go and prevent food waste where you live. So I'm going to stop waffling on. I'm going to get this stuff divided out between me and my mum and dad. I'm going to eat one of those cream cakes and my melon. And then I'm going to go to bed because it is about 10.30 at night here. So um, take care guys. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.